G'day YouTube, Video29, back with you again, and it's time guys, all oh, the prep has led to this, it is time, oh god, let me see what that time's good, it's time to challenge Ryan for our round one match of the Orange Leagues, now, I really want to prove myself. A lot of the people here know that I'm a good battler, but this is like taking it to the next level. So I really want to prove myself. Hopefully we can get a good result. If you guys remember the team, we are running specially defensive Rage Steel, specially defensive Mandibuzz, physically defensive Wish Passing Clefable, physically offensive Quagsire, Banded Bulky Mammo, and Modest Bulky Tail Globe Manaphy. I'm thinking his team this week. Like I said, he's got to bring Sylvie on, he's got to bring Garch on. He's got to bring Amoongus. I feel like he will bring then Bishar, uh, Gallade, and it's either Galvantula or Sloking for me. So we're going to hop in, we're going to challenge him, and we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. The heart's going, ooh. Like, you might think that why you bring Amandabuzz if he's not going to bring Delphox, but you just don't know. You just you just don't know. And also, like I said in the uh, Team Builder, which you need to go watch, uh, Amandabuzz does have some other important factors about it in this battle. Unfortunately, the beard hasn't grown back yet for this battle. Okay! No Bishop. But, okay, I'm very surprised by Golem. Very surprised. So, what are the things that he didn't bring? So, basically, he brought everything that I thought he'd bring, minus Bishop, and he replaced Bishop with Golem, and didn't bring Slowking. Which means that his dedicated answer, it appears... I feel uh, he might be Stealth Rock on Golem too. Which means his dedicated response to Manaphy is a Moongus. Manaphy's got a really good chance of winning this. I think I just got to get rid of um, Gavantula. Really good chance. I think, looking at his team, Manfred is the lead of choice here. It has just a phenomenal matchup against um, five of his six mons. If he does lead Galay, we have Profable in the back. What I want to pull up super quick is a count of uh, Mamo against Golem. I don't think it'll be physically defensive Golem, but I, I, I just want to count some stuff. Um, I think the battle's already begun, but I just want to quickly see how much an average of three hits per school speed does. Oh, it's pretty good. He does like this is what I was worried about. He does like Golem. I feel like he might just go for a rocks here. My best play is to ice with speed, because if he does turn out to be defensive golem, we can definitely just take it on. And at the end of the day, three hits is an 81.3% chance to kill. I think it's my safest play. I don't think he's running scarfed or max speed explosion. I don't think that's his play. I'm gonna go for ice with spear. Hopefully we get enough hits. One. Oh, it takes two hits. Booyah! Manfred! Okay, that's how we start our season. So, that means if he doesn't have Stealth Rocks on Garchomp, uh, Garchomp isn't an issue. Okay. And if I don't have to worry about Rocks, that's also pretty sweet. Um, but that is an awesome start. Uh, Golem is down. Because he didn't bring Slow King either, he has no switch-ins to these Ice-type moves other than Gallade. Galad, I think, is his only play. I think Sylveon could take the Spears, though. So, I would go out to Registal in that situation, get up three locks. Wouldn't you? Um, but this is looking so far so good. He's probably just done the counts and realized that I'm banded Mamo, which is going to be terrifying for him now because he has no switch in for this thing. I'm really surprised that he didn't bring um, Slow King. Slow King was like his closest bet to a Mamo counter. I'm assuming he had counter or something for Mamo Swine or weakness policy on the Golem, but I've kind of just uh, thrown a spanner in the works there. So, so far so good for my boy Manfred. Um, I guess his play is Sylveon or Gallade. It has to be. Uh, Galvantula, I can kill in one shot. Amoongus, I can kill in one shot. Sylveon makes sense. I guess, if he thinks he's bulky Sylveon, then I guess that makes sense. I'm not going to start the timer, because I'm not that kind of guy, obviously. Um, but this is a very, very, very good start. Uh, 
What am I afraid of in this team? Sylveon isn't too bad because I have Registeel Wall, that thing, every day. Uh, Garchomp isn't too bad because I have Quag. Only if it has Toxic will it be an issue. But since Bishop isn't there, Quag's only job is really to wall that Garchomp. Amoongus isn't an issue. I have Mandibuzz. Uh, now that Golem's gone, it doesn't really change anything um, at all. What's looking really nice now is my Mandibuzz getting a free knockoff when Amoongus comes in. So, Ryan is still thinking. I've got a green tea here, which might actually be drunk. Okay, it goes into Amoongus. Um, the only thing I can think of is if he's Scarfed. I don't think defensive Amoongus is taking banded Icicle Spears. Yeah, like, I can't even imagine that. He can't be, um... Defensive Amoongus... Can live? Oh. Definitely if he's physically defensive. So, I think my safer play here is just going straight out to Thanksgiving. Not thinking about anything else, just straight out to Thanksgiving. He's gonna Giga, we can live that fine. That's all good. And uh, we can just go straight for the knockoff here. Uh, if he goes into Sylveon, we can possibly get rid of the Specs. If he goes into Garchomp, annoying. But I think knockoff is our safest play. If he stays in and Spores, we are Overcoat, so he cannot put us to sleep. And, as I said, if he goes into Gallade here, plus one close combat does not kill us. We can then reply with a uh, Foul Play, and that will take out the Gallade. And that is probably the last big, serious threat on his team, is that Gallade right now. But I feel that, um, Golem was... Re I don't really understand why Golem was chosen over Bishop. He does go into Sylveon, we do get the knockoff going, and he was Specs! I knew it! I knew I told you! Specs Sylveon was seriously bad against me. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, seriously good against me. I'm gonna go to Registeel. He's probably gonna try and baton pass into his Gallade, I would assume. Uh, I feel like Gallade is his best play here, or Garchomp. One of those two is what I expect to see. I, I figured he'd bring uh, Galvantula too, so I'm so glad that I went bulky with my team, because I expect Sticky Webs to go up at some point. Um, I'm just very, very surprised he didn't bring Bishop. I don't exactly know what Golem was designed to wall. He goes into Garchomp. Uh, my easy Garchomp check is Quagsire. <sighs> I, I, I really want to go for Rocks here, because I know I can live a hit. And now that Sylveon has lost its specs, it's not as big of an issue. But I would like my Registeel to be in as much health as possible, so going into Quag here is very, very safe. He'd probably just go for Rocks. He just goes to EQ. And reveals, I believe from that damage, that he might be banded. Um, He's either Jolly Band or he's just Adamant Garchomp. Offensive Stealth Rock. So EQ normally does that much with Max Attack Jolly. Now, if we were to slap a choice band onto you, though, that's what I want to see. See, that's looking more like it. That's looking more like it, in my opinion. That's looking like banded damage, because I believe that if he was adamant Garchomp, he could not do 51% to me. But we'll see. Can he do 51% if he's adamant? He can't. He has to be banded. So he is banded Garchomp, guys. So we just go straight back into Thanksgiving, I suppose. He has to double out. He will go into Galvantula, so he makes a good play there. Now, this is a little bit worrying because my uh, Quag is weakened and it's meant to be my Garchomp check, but I can play pretty well around this, I feel. Uh, I'm going to go straight into my Mamoswine because this basically sets up another kill. I feel that he might go for the Bug Buzz, but two Bug Buzzes doesn't kill me from where I am. And if I'm him, I'm going for Sticky Web or Thunder. And basically, I can net another kill here with Band of Mamoswine, which is the big draw card um, right now. I think I have to go back into Band of Mamo at this point. If he goes for Giga, that's a cool play, but it won't be a 2 KO. Neither will Bug Buzz, because uh, I am running the bulk on this thing. I am a little bit worried now that my Quagsire has been weakened. Then again, I can get Clef in pretty safely if I need to against some other things, and maybe get a Wish Pass off the Quag to deal with it. But then again, if he is banded Garchomp, I could definitely play smarter around this. Um, if he locks himself into a ground move, I have Mandibuzz. If he locks himself into a dragon move, I have Clefable. So I have options against this thing. But I definitely think my play here is going straight into my Mamoswine. Now, the reason for that, uh, guys, is pretty much that Mamoswine deals very nicely. I'm actually uh, kicking myself a little bit that he... Because he went for Giga Drain last time with Amoongus there. Um, I think next time I'm just going to Ice Blitz get the shit out of that Amoongus if it comes in tries to wall me. But my best play here is definitely just going straight into 
my Mammoth Swine. Uh, if he does go and pull the double into Sylveon, Sylveon will die to a Bandit EQ, I'm assuming. It's pretty high roll in my favor. If he goes out to Gallade, um, I will probably just go directly into Clefable. Banded Garchomp is a little bit spooky for my team, but then again, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's definitely from the damage that I saw, it's looking like Jolly Band. And Adam and Bandit would do way more than that, so it's definitely Jolly Band. Probably speed creeping my Manaphy, if I was gonna guess. So he's taking a long time to think about the Galvantula play. I mean, if I was him, Mamoswine is a very obvious switch in. But then again, so is Registeel. So it's a big 50-50 for him here, whether he wants to Volt Switch, uh, producing Registeel to go back into Banded Chomp, or to Bug Buzz, but then have my Registeel be in for free. He chooses a Giga and gets it right. So that's unfortunate. He does reveal Life Orb too. Um, so I have to now pull a Switch into Registeel. He probably will predict this. It is really unfortunate he predicted that because I really wanted my Mammoth Swine to be at decent health. I can't risk it. Here because Mamoswine kills Sylveon, Amoongus, doesn't, uh, it still does a ton to Garchomp. He also doesn't really have a switching with a banded Ice Shard. So I want to keep that in the back for if Garchomp does end up killing one of my mons, to be able to go into Mamoswine and just say, well, show me switching the banded Ice Shard, because I'm pretty sure Amoongus is not appreciating that either. I, I haven't still got the Kalkar, that's fine. Uh, that Giga Drain play was immaculate. I really wish I could have gone into Registeel there. Registeel probably was the better play. I guess I was expecting maybe Sticky Web or the Electric move, as it was safer for Ryan, but he went with a risky play and it's paid off for him. The plus side is we can get Mamoswine back up to health a bit with Clefable. Uh, we're basically just waiting for that moment when Gallade can come in, and then we can get Mamoswine back up to health maybe at that point. Uh, but then again, we also have Quag in his healing, so he is chipping away at our walls a little bit. But then again, we have got rid of uh, Sylveon's specs. Probably the next big thing we have to worry about is this banded Garchomp. Um, the, uh, the Galvantula, he's, just, he's annoying, but we can deal with him. Uh, I think my most sackable mod, if I'm going to sack something, is probably going to be Mandibuzz. So when the Garchomp comes back in against Registeel, I'm probably just going to go straight into Mandibuzz, because if he locks himself into a Dragon move, it is a free switch and a free wish with uh, Clefable that we can use to our advantage. And because I am bulky Mammo, I might be able to live Giga Drain. He actually goes into Sylveon here, so that is actually really nice for us. We get a free switch into Registeel here. And I don't see Sylveon staying in. I don't see us outspeeding either. I think my best play by far is just Rocks. Um, Rocks dents his team. If he goes into Garchomp, like I said, I have Mandibuzz as a sack. I think it's just my safest play. He does go back into Garchomp. We just go for Rocks here. I really wanted to go for Toxic there, predicting Garchomp, but at this point, I think my better play is just going straight into my Mana Buzz. I'm really hoping he actually goes for Outrage. That'd be kind of cool. But I'm going to go straight into Thanksgiving. As he does Stone Edge to take us out, that is fine by me. That actually can allow me to go straight into Manaphy. If I want to. But my better play is going into Quag, as it allows me to get free Recover. Yeah. Definitely my better play. Ryan is playing fantastically well here, guys. Props to him. He is playing fantastically well. I have to recover here on Quag, as I assume a Moonbis is coming in. It certainly does. Which is totally fine. We can deal with this. Um, we have a Registeel, which can be spored. It is not a big deal to us if it does get spored. He chooses to go for Giga, which is fine. It's not a big deal to me. I think um, the play that I want to make here is honestly going straight into my Mammoth Swine, as I feel that if he goes into Garchomp, we can definitely take advantage of that. I think he doesn't achieve anything by being in here one-on-one -on -one with the Moongus. Um, because I am really just still living any hit that he goes for pretty nicely. I think my best play is aggressively going into Mammoth Swine predicting Garchomp. Um, he could Giga here. Double Giga would be incredible. And if that happens, then I'm in big trouble against that Bandit Chomp. I'm gonna make the play. And he does double Giga. Ryan, you're insane, bro. You're insane. I I don't know what I could do against that, guys. Can you tell me what I was meant to do against that? That's crazy good. Um, it was risky, I don't know. I, I think it was really risky at that point. But he made a great play. And now I need to really assess how I'm going to win this battle. Um, obviously, my win con is my Manaphy. It's just going to be very hard for it to win now. Because my way of getting rid of a Moongus, my two best ways of getting rid of Moongus are dead. Um, I have to go into my Registeel, but the problem is now that his Garchomp gets a free EQ kill 
at any time he wants. So now I have to go back into Registeel. And the thing is, I can't go out to Manaphy at this point. Well, that's the thing. He thinks I can't go out to Manaphy. At the end of the day, I could try and pull this out to Manaphy now. Because, obviously, I'm probably going to stay in and go for Iron Head. And at this point, what I would like to do... See, the thing is, my way of winning is just with Manaphy. If I can get it in, even against Garchomp, I don't think he's going to want to risk the Ice Beam killing him. That seems pretty crazy when Garchomp can destroy my team. I don't see him staying in with Amoongus. It doesn't... Now, it doesn't make sense. It made sense before with the switch to Mamoswine. Very obvious play. I can get that. Now, it seems like his best play is just going into Garchomp anyway and getting all the momentum. So I'm going to pull the switch. This time into Manaphy. And again... Why? Why are you Giga Draining me? What does that achieve? What is that actually achieving for you? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why you would Giga Drain a Registeel. Twice. Like... Especially when you have the easiest switch in of all time in a Garchomp just sitting in the back. I'm not like a, I'm not trying to predict his Garchomp, it's more the fact that I'm predicting him not to stay in against the Register. It didn't make sense, but Okay, I need to make a decision now. Uh Giga Drain's doing about the damage I expected. After a tail glow, if we'll see, he brought in Amoongus against Mamoswine. He brought it in against Mamoswine, which tells me. It could be physically defensive, but who runs physically defensive Amoongus as you go Okay, uh, here's the thing. If he is not physically defensive Amoongus, and I decided to switch out with Mamoswine, I'm going to be so mad, because that decision has probably cost me the battle. I have to make a decision now whether to Tail Glow and hope that's enough. Because from here... Two Giga Drains can't kill me. And I could get rid of Amoongus, but then I'll die straight up to Garchomp or Galvantula. He's in the driver's seat now. He has made some crazy plays. Predicting Mamo twice and killing it with double Giga. Insane, because Mamo swept his team. I, I sacked that for no reason, pretty much. Um, I think I have to try and pres I don't understand why he hasn't switched. That's what's like that's what I'm trying to process in my mind, is why a switch never happened with Garchomp, because now Manaphy can't live a banded EQ. I don't think it could have begun with, but now Manaphy definitely can't. Uh, what also frustrates me is that if I ran the Calm Mind Clef, it probably could have won from here. Potentially. This is really frustrating me. Um, I don't know what to do now. I'm completely lost, because he just... Like, all credit to Ryan, those players were great, but I don't understand why you would stay in Giga Drain with Amoongus. It doesn't really make sense. Manaphy wasn't the switch into Amoongus at all. If anything, I'm going to stay in an Iron Head. If I go out to Registeel now, he's going to predict that. I can't go out to Clef, because he'll just Sludge Bomb. So I either go back into Registeel and just spam Iron Head and wait for him to go into Garchomp, have Garchomp kill something, then go into Clef, Maybe Manaphy can do something, or I tail go up with Manaphy now and bank on what exactly? Bank on Clefable or Quagsire to kill Garchomp. And then one of them has to remain to take out Gallade and then rest uh, Registeel beating those two. Is that my, is that my play? Because that sounds really terrible. It sounds awful. And I... I don't want to have to make that my play. If I go into Registeel here, he gets a free to Garchomp. I have to Tail Glow. I have to Tail Glow. He Gigas, gets a max roll, which is really unfortunate. I need him to get a min roll, and I need Ice Beam to kill or freeze or do some kind of crazy voodoo magic for me right now. Please. He lives, and doesn't get frozen, and he clear smogs. Okay. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. Um, I think I just Surf here, because Surf should kill Amoongus from this range. If Ice Beam's doing that much, I assume Surf kills. I'm still trying to figure out what Amoong... Would he be Defensive Assault Vest? Maybe? I'm trying to fathom how much damage that was meant to do. Amoongus without Assault Vest to... 
mana fee, but I'm I'm modest. So how much is Ice Beam meant to do? That much. Plus three. That's doing nothing. So yeah, I'm thinking he's just specially defensive. Or he's fully physically defensive with an assault vest. I think that's actually it. I think he's fully physically defensive with an assault vest, which means that does a modest neutral surf kill you? If Skull's doing that much, Surf does, yeah. So he's dead. I go for Surf. Amoongus goes, okay. Um, this is still scary. Goes into Galvantula, which is okay. Because I go into Registill every time. Um, he does Vault, which I expected. But, uh, so Galvantula's almost dead. It's going to be the Garchomp. That's going to be the big thing now. Yeah, Garchomp is the maker and the breaker. Uh, because, obviously he's going to Earthquake here. And neither Clefable or Quagsire can deal with it. Initially. So, I need to formulate a game plan now. Um, I need Clefable because it beats Gallade. So I'm either sacking my Manaphy, and then going into my Quagsire. Which I don't mind the sound of, actually. Because I can just Ice Beam the Garchomp. And that could be enough. That could be enough. Because Quagsire can't switch in. So I think my best play is actually sucking Manaphy here. As crazy as that play sounds, looking at the rest of his team, Manaphy isn't going to do jack. So I have to sack Manaphy here. Manaphy gets sacked, and maybe we got a chance. I just don't know, it's, it's obviously banded Garchomp, so I just need to see how much Quag can do with an Ice Beam to this thing. Um, that's the big question I want answered right now. Ice Beam doesn't do that much, I'm not going to lie. So he does EQ, I expected it. Um, I have to go into Quagsire. Okay, how much did EQ to Quags I do last time? It's very early on. 51%, but we saw that was potentially a min roll. Oh, is it mid roll? Mid roll, sorry, mid roll. Because we figured out that he was Jolly Banded. Jolly Banded is a 74.2% chance of Twit KO. So I think my play has to be to Ice Beam. At the end of the day, it's the only way I can get close to winning this battle. The only way I can even get remotely close is to Ice Beam this Garchomp right now. I fully expect him to go out to Sylveon though. I really do. And then I expect him to go for Baton Pass, but my Registeel, because it's the only thing that can wall Sylveon. And there's nothing I can do about it though. Unless I doubled into my Registeel now. <sighs> Predicting, but then it's still back at square one. I have to Ice Beam. He does go into Sylveon like we expected. We Ice Beam it up. We get a crit freeze. <laughs> I'm hopeful. I think... I think I have to Scald. At the end of the day, though, it's tricky. Because essentially, Registeel plus the Fable has a chance. We've seen a lot of Garchomp's moveset the one thing we haven't seen is um, see, EQ, but I can Wish Protect. So, because of that, I think our best play here is actually to EQ with Quag on the off chance he tries to Baton Pass. Because I'm pretty sure that'll do a lot to Sylveon. I think Sylveon could still kill us here. I'm actually not sure. But a Sylveon without its specs is what I'm looking at. That's what I'm trying to look at. We might have a chance with Clefable here. So with its specs, Hyper Voice definitely kills. When it drops its specs, it does not kill. EQ does a lot. We have to bank on that. He does go for the Wish. We can fire off an EQ here. Now, if we EQ again, his Galvantula will die. His Sylveon will die. Could try and go into Galilee, but we can block Galilee with Clefable. We have to go for an EQ here. 
We have Hyper Voices. We should live. Silphunk is down. Alright, we got a chance. Because Clefable, theoretically, can beat Gallade plus Garchomp by itself. And as far as I can see, Galvantula dies to Rock's Entry, Life Orbs, and that's it. So the moment Galvantula comes in, that is the last time we are seeing Galvantula. Pretty much. I think... Maybe... Clefable can do something. Okay, so he goes into Gallade. Um... Honestly? Do I want to preserve my Quag? There is one reason I want to preserve Quag. Let me just check what it is. Jolly. I'm, 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 my heart's racing, guys. My heart's racing. I need to see how much Band of Poison Jab does to me. It does zero. Okay. I think I have to go straight into John Cena. It is the safest play by a million years. Close combats, we can eat that. We can eat that. Now, here's the thing though. If he has the poison jab from here, we will have to wish protect our way back up. From here, Banded Garchomp is looking like a winner. That is the fear. Because Galvantula will lose to Registeel. We can Moonblast and kill Galay, but then we lose to Garchomp. So, I think we have to protect on this turn to see if he has the Poison Jab and get as much health as we can back against this thing. We have to protect. He does have the Poison Jab, that's good to know. This turn we have to wish. Uh, Close Combat did 30% to Clefable, so... Please tell me you're not running Adam and Mega Galay. That would just be weird. That would just be weird. No, he got a max roll. So, that's good. Kind of. Not really, but I can work with it. This poison Jab is doing 46.8 to 55.4. We can live on. We have to wish. Hopefully no poisons or crits or anything. Good. <sighs> we have to protect. And by doing this, we can kind of 1v1. And I think we can get enough health back to 1v1 Garchomp too, actually. Um, poison Jab did 55%. The next thing I need to see is knowing how much Poison Jab's doing. It's just the Garchomp matchup. It's now the worry for me. In the Garchomp matchup, all I need to know is how much Bandit EQ is going to do to me. And then I can formulate a plan around that. So Bandit EQ... 65% is where I need to get my health to. So... I can maybe do that? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I can make that work. Theoretically. It'll be close, but I can make it work. I have to wish on this turn. No crits or poisons. No! Come on! Poison Jab has a 10% chance! I'm pretty confident. I am pretty confident it has a 10% chance. Poison Jab. I need to see the move. Search for it. I swear to God, if this is a 10% chance to poison me. If it's if it's higher than that, I guess I can't be too mad, but I swear. 30% chance. Okay, that's kind of fair. He's hit two. Can't really complain with that. I have just wished. Now, if he doesn't have Leaf Blade, it's interesting. If he doesn't have Leaf Blade, Quag has a chance. If he does have Leaf Blade, Quag's got no hope in hell. 
And I, I assume he has Leaf Blade for the Quag. That poison just probably ended it for us. Because uh, we can protect here. Get back up to 85%, then 91. Then go down to... Uh, 85. And then from there... We're still just going to die to... Um, the other stuff. We can go into Quag. Get the healing back. Uh, if he has Leaf Blade, then we just lose anyway. But if he doesn't have Leaf Blade... We might be able to recover still the amount of close combats. He's got to have Leaf Blade. This is... Oh, <sighs> uh, it's GG. That poison. That poison, dude. I, I think I should just uh, protect here. Because at least Clef can kill Gallade. But then I just lose to Garchomp. Um, because yeah, unless I sacked off Quag here, there's no point. I have to move last. Man, that poison, that poison sunk me. And he's specially defensive. What? How is that doing? No, 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 no. What? What? I count to make a galley. At minus one speed def, Moonblast should be tearing you a new butthole. Wait, there's no way that he's running min speed Gallade with special defense invest. Wait. Unaware! Of course! No wonder it's doing so little. Wait, did I get min roll and unaware then? I did! Son of a bitch, Clefable. You had one job. <sighs> Good night. Great. And so. Yeah, we get wrecked. This did not turn out the way I wanted to. I am really sorry, guys, because at the end of the... Oh, my God. Banded Ice Shard just won me the game. If that, if that game had played out exactly the same, but I hadn't gone into Mammoth Swine, Banded Ice Shard won it for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. That prediction on Mamo just cost me the game. I go into Quag and die to close combat. God damn it. We lose our first game against a division rival. Next time, I'm just going to bring Mamo and just click Earthquake every turn. I really am sorry, guys. I had the game. I actually had it and I choked it by sacking Mamo. He didn't have Leaf Blade? Wait. Oh my god. If he didn't have Leaf Blade, guys, the reason why I'm saying this to Ryan is uh, because if he didn't have Leaf Blade, then I could have passed the Wish We Could Fable off to Quagsire uh, and recovered to waste him of all of his close combats, and then he would have had to have got the Poison on me uh, with Poison Jab, or else I would have killed him with EQ. If Galvantula then came in, uh, I would have just gone straight up to Registeel, sacked it against Garchomp, come back in with uh, Quagsire, and... Oh. oh man, that's so annoying. <laughs> and Reg still can't take a hit, obviously. This is gonna die to Gallade. Ah, oh, so I could have passed out to Quag. 1v1 the Gallade. And uh That would have been good. And then Garchomp, though, two EQs had a very good chance to kill me, so I probably would have just lost to that thing. Actually, yeah, I would have just lost to Garchomp at that point, because uh, I would have needed to get the Skull Burn in order to beat that thing. I have to Iron Hit it, this Skull Burn. Far out! Okay, so guys, that, uh... <sighs> like, I'm not even mad that I lost. I think I'm just mad... Like, Ryan played incredibly well. Subscribe to him, all that good stuff, guys. I guess what I'm mad about is the fact that I had a game plan from the get-go. The fact that Mamoswine, I knew Mamoswine or Manaphy would win me the game. Hands down, I knew it from the start. And sure as hell, he brings no Mamoswine counter. And for no reason, I had 
a Registeel designed to deal with Galvantula. I didn't need to predict. I was doing fine. I had ways to deal with Garchomp. I just realized them too late, and I just played poorly. I, I really did. I honestly could have played this a lot better. And truth be told, I didn't. Um, looking back on it, Quagsire should have just come in every time against Garchomp. Even if he went for another EQ there on my Quagsire, I had a chance to live it. And then I could just go straight into my Mandibuzz if I wanted to. Or go for the Recover Predicting. It was just very, um, very frustrating to watch this battle back, I think it will be. Because at this point of the game too, at the end of the day, he had nothing for banded Mamoswine. And looking back at the Amoongus as well, it had to be fully physically defensive with an Assault Vest, which was good. Like, it dealt with me. But then all I really needed to do was get a bit of damage off on that Amoongus, and Ice School Spear killed every single time. Or I just Ice School Speared that turn with Mamo, and then Amoongus went down, and then Manaphy might have been able to put in some work. But unfortunately, guys, uh, Verdachoke, Season 1, uh, Season 2, Oh man, I haven't choked that hard in a while. That is, uh, that wasn't even really, I don't think I played it bad. I think Ryan just predicted me really well on that turn. I don't know why I thought going into Mamo there was the right play. I played so badly with Registeel. Um, I should have just clicked Iron Head, because if I had Iron Headed the uh, Amoongus, that put him in range whenever I wanted to of dying to, um, to Bandit Mamo. I don't know why I played so badly there, guys. I wish I played Mamo better, because it could have 6-0'd his team. But this is what happens. You know, we you can prepare as well as you want to for a team, and sometimes one little bad decision can cost you. And in hindsight, I could have taken Giga Drain if I hadn't taken the Giga Drain from Galvantula. And that was a decision that really cost me, and I am sorry for that, guys. Next time, we'll definitely play that turn a lot better. Hats off to Ryan. I mean... He played like a madman possessed. He always says he struggles against me, but this is the first time we really legitimately battled each other. And I didn't get the job done. I probably, yeah. I'm not going to say I should have won because the result says itself. He beat me. I think next time we play, I'll definitely have a better game plan. Then again, my game plan was good. I just got to battle better. Honestly, guys, I felt good about the team that I built. And I'd be happy going in again with that team against him because I felt that it dealt with him really well. Uh, was I disappointed that I didn't bring a uh, Reuniclus? Not really. Um, I felt like Reuniclus in this matchup wasn't that great. Um, then again, against Assault Vest, uh, Amoongus wouldn't have been the worst. So I'll definitely have to go back to the drawing board. Banded Garchomp was brilliant, though. Um, but yeah, I just uh, definitely, definitely am very disappointed in myself. The other thing is, I know that if I brought Magic Guard Clef, I had a chance. But if he brought SD Gallade, I had no chance. So... Alright, I've said enough guys, I've waffled enough. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hats off to Ryan as well, check out his channel as well. I'm just going to stay disappointed with myself and hopefully bounce back next week. I have no idea who my opponent is, but I'll bounce back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Video 29,